Hey guys, uh, this is an uh, intro to Monmouth Courthouse. Um, I'll be playing through this game with you and uh, giving you an idea how this game plays. Um, the Battle of Monmouth Courthouse was on June 28th, 1778, as the um, British rearguard was attacked by um, the American forces, led by Lee, who was later on... Um, yeah, uh, he he basically um, he was a pretty poor commander in this battle, and uh, kept sending troops left, right, and center. And um, Washington later turned off, uh, turned up, and dismissed Lee. And um, from that point onwards, Washington was in command, and the battle took a bit of a swing there. Um, Historically, it ended as a kind of a draw, even though the British won the field, but the Americans did more damage. Or it, it, Either way, it's kind of... Both sides claimed it as a victory at the time, although it, it's a very complicated battle as far as uh, who won and who lost. Um, but yeah... Um, so here we have the British rear guard. They'll be defending uh, for a few turns as they basically wait for the main force, which will be coming from this road here. That's Burlington's Road and Dutch Lane. Uh, so the British will be coming down here. Uh, the Americans win a decisive victory if they can capture the road at Dutch Lane. Um, while the British win a decisive victory if they capture the road up here going to Seabrook's farm. Uh, you can't actually see that on screen, so that one there. Um, you, the Both sides will be getting victory points for eliminating uh, enemy units, and also at the end of the game, whoever controls this hill here will get an additional victory point. And... For the British, if they control uh, Parsonage Farm, they get a victory point each turn they hold that. And for the Americans, if they hold Monmouth Courthouse, uh, they get a victory point each turn for holding that. So, um, that's the intro. I mean, the British have uh, Simcoe up here with his uh, Hussars. Um, they're basically like scouting out like a picket and uh, we have von Steuben and some militia units here with the advanced attack of the Americans down here we have the reinforcement and turn track as you can see there'll be a lot more units coming in as the battle um, escalates um, there's also heat that um, comes into the battle later on during the day. There's a lot of troops with heat exhaustion. It's uh, one of the longest battles in the revolution. And uh, yeah, that, there's a lot of uh, endurance when it comes to the troops and the heat. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the intro to this game. Um, the Americans, one more thing to add, is the Americans have a command and control table due to Lee's ineptitude at uh, commanding troops, uh, each turn after turn two, you roll to see what units have been sent where by Lee. Uh, that will happen until Washington turns up and relieves him of command. Also, this is the historical point. There's a little horse there that um, Lee was relieved of command. If he goes beyond that point in turn three it gives the British an additional victory point. So that's the intro and uh, let's get to part one.